Hey loves, welcome back to the My Chronicles YouTube channel. Today I will be reviewing the new African Pride Moisture Miracle line. And today's video was sponsored. It was sponsored by my lovely friend Rosamond who received these products in her call box and she asked me if I wanted to try them. And of course I was like, yes. Get your friends like Rosamond, who when companies don't sponsor you, Rosamond decides to sponsor you. So Rosamond, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. So guys, make sure that you like, comment, rate, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more awesome content. So guys, African Pride came out with a new line, which is their Moisture Miracle line. And in that line, there are about eight or so products. The products are very affordable. I would say in St. Vincent, they are less than $25. And in the U.S., they are around $5 U.S. dollars each. And um, they had a great um, campaign, I would say, and so on. But I just... I don't know. I wanted to like these products. I wanted to like these products so badly. I was hyped for them and everything. But guys, a lot of these products are no's is a no. They are no's for me, right? So ugh, I really don't like making discouraging videos, but I really did not enjoy most of the products in this line. Let's go through them one by one. So the reason why these products are so cheap, why they're so affordable, is because of course the ingredients are suspect. You guys know on this channel, I'm all about telling you guys about the best ingredients to use for your hair care. If you're somebody who doesn't care about silicones, doesn't care about ETAs, doesn't care about parabens, doesn't care about any of that, then that's fine by you. But for those people who are more ingredient conscious, I am going to let you know that these products are not the greatest products in terms of ingredients. Yes, on their packaging, they're saying they're full of coconut oil, aloe vera, they're full of um, um, some products having chocolate and so on, and they're giving health benefits there, but you need to take a step further and check out the ingredients, and then you guys will really see what I'm talking about. But I am reviewing this line for you. For something that I would say that's in my regular hair care regimen, I don't think that these products will make it into that because what I look for in my hair care products are not in the ingredients. And I think that's why they didn't work for my hair because my hair is not agreeing with these bad ingredients, guys. It is absolutely not agreeing with them. But let's go through these products step by step. Now, I must say that the favorite, my favorite products from this line had to be the pre-shampoo. And the first four ingredients, I believe, it's water, it's aloe vera juice, it's this guar gum consistency, this guar gum um, ingredient that's there. And I, I looked it up. It adds to the conditioning properties of our products. And the other ingredient at the top of the list was coconut water. And that went through my hair so good. My hair was like not washed for probably two and a half weeks in anticipation of getting these products. So I just refused to wash my hair until I got them. And I read on the packaging that you should use it without wetting your hair first you should use it on dry hair and when i tell you that my hair was dry and crusty and i used this product on my hair and it made my hair feel really good it really did so that product i give it five out of five stars of course you don't have to go out and buy a pre -poo. you could just use the aloe vera plant and do a pre -poo. that way i have a tutorial for that up on my channel but for those of you guys who are not mixtresses this one would work really good for you the second product is the shampoo now the shampoo was very moisturizing and a little went a long way it suds up so well and it has no sulfates and no silicones and my hair really loved it i would say i'm giving this four out of five stars it did not leave my hair stripped I'm not sure if it didn't leave my hair stripped because of the pre-poo before it or 
just on its own. But those two combinations were really good. So I really enjoyed the Pripu and the shampoo. Now, on to the next step. Now, if you guys know me and you're familiar with this channel, I usually just go straight from shampooing my hair to deep conditioning my hair. But for the purpose of this review, I decided I'm going to review all of the products for you guys. So I decided to review the conditioner as well. And the conditioner looks so good and it does smell faintly of chocolate and it hasn't chocolate and I'm like how am I not going to use this on my hair so when I tried it guys it th from that point on my 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 wash day just went downhill it just sat on my hair it did nothing nothing for my hair it was so dry and at that point I was like why didn't I just go straight from shampooing my hair to deep conditioning my hair which brings me to the deep conditioner i tried the deep conditioner and it had the exact same results now it said that it's a heat activated mask so i don't have a hooded dryer but i usually use my plastic caps and i let it sit for about 45 minutes so the heat from my hair really did heat it up and it did nothing so both of those, if I could give you zero stars, which I am giving you now, they got zero stars. And I'm very disappointed. I'm so disappointed. So my wash day, my wash day yesterday was very, was very rough because I'm there. I'm so excited to do this review. And then these products are just not working for my hair. By the way, those two products have in a lot of silicones and so on. So I guess that had to do with how my hair was reacting with it. Now, at this point, I was like very disappointed. I didn't really want to continue my wash day process, but I love styling my hair, so I decided, okay, I'm going to use the leave-in conditioner and the curling cream. Now, the leave-in conditioner is, it doesn't, it's not very runny, but it's not um, super thick as well. The curling cream is a little thicker. I found that these products, just like the conditioner and just like the, just like the conditioner and the deep conditioner, that they did not have a lot of slip. I had to fight to apply these products to my hair. If I was not making this video, I would have just quit, rewashed my hair, and just forgot about the whole thing. But I wanted to give you guys a proper review. Don't want you guys out here wasting your money on these things. They had no slip. It wasn't going through my hair as I wanted it to. I had to fight to get the products on my hair. And I know that I caused a lot of undue breakage just because of that. And for, for my hair, my hair is very thick. It needs products that would slip, products that, that facilitate um, it going through my hair and so on. And I use these products to achieve this twist out. And you're probably saying my twist out looks fabulous my twist out does look very great with all of these lights and stuff that i have going on here but my hair is dry my hair is dry i don't i don't know i don't know these products were very drying to my hair I, I cannot, I cannot in good faith recommend these products to you guys. And then after I used these products, I decided, you know, to check out other reviews because I really refu refused to be skewed by any other opinions until I tried the products for myself and I'm seeing all of these good reviews. And, the, and these products, sad to say, are trash. Most of them are trash. I did not enjoy them at all at all my hair is my hair is dry 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 and as you guys know as i usually say wash day begins wash day is when the most moisture goes into your hair so i'm starting off my wash day on pretty loose my wash week my moisture week on pretty loose footage um i'm saying footage on pretty loose footing because I didn't, they were not moisturizing to my hair. So, um, products of this from this line that I would recommend would be the Prepo and the Shampoo. 
shocking shocking this is so shocking i'm recommending a shampoo from a line and not the curling cream and leave-in conditioner they weren't they were not they were not great i will not be using them again um yeah this video is a bummer <laughs> i'm so sorry that this isn't one of those videos where i'm like oh my god these products are amazing because they weren't um so yeah i don't think that there's any more that i could say leave a comment down below if you guys have had similar experiences or not you know your hair may react differently to something than mine would and i would definitely want to hear from you guys thank you guys so much for always stopping by the my crown of curls youtube channel be sure to check out my other videos as well subscribe to the channel Join the My Crown of Curls family and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you guys so much for always being here.